Yeah, not bothered. Right, okay, so we, we run it with, what was it? Eight. So we've got, is in order eight. Right, so we're gonna do line one. So we're gonna put line one, we got the if, so line one was tr not true. Okay, so we move on to line four, the else bit, and then we do line five. So at line five, first character is set to what? Eight. Eight. Okay, then we'll do line six. So rest of word, as they called it, is set to P-E. Yeah, everyone happy with that. So that's all it's doing so far. Then we've got an if at line seven. And it says, if first character is greater than rest of word, it's not, is it? So we're not going to do that false bit. So we're going to move on to line nine. So I'm trying to write down the line numbers properly here. Then we're going to do line 10. Line 10 is weird. It says return a value. But before we can know what we're going to return, we're running a sub uh, function. So we're going to run this function. So we've got to run the function and wait for the function to finish so we know what value we're returning. So we say is in order and it says the parameter to pass was rest of word. So we're going to pass PE. We're back where we started on line one. Should have been line two. Okay, back on line one. So we're starting again. We're waiting for this to end. So we then go on to line two that says, is the length of word one? Okay, so do that. So we go to line four, got to line five. It says, first character equals first character in word. Now this is why you can't do a normal dry run on these. Because in the previous function call, which hasn't finished yet, first char was eight. And that still exists somewhere in the computer's memory. Okay, on the stack. This is a different version of that local variable. So we've actually got, this is why it takes up memory when you do this sort of task. So we've actually got another complete copy of this function running with all its local variables active. Okay. I'm running out of space down here near the like these bloody computer bits which I stupidly put in front of the board. But there you go. What's new? Right, rest of word. Now this time rest of word's not going to be very big because it's just going to be E. Okay, on line seven, we do that test again. Is the first character greater than the rest of the word? In this case. Yeah, it is, isn't it? P is bigger than E. So, on line seven, we're directed to do return false. So we're gonna say return false. So we've done the job of that function. We're gonna return. So what we do when we're doing these dry runs of recursion, we go back to where we call the function and pass that value. So we say there, false. That's now got its value to return. So it's going to finish. So it's going to return the answer, false. And that's it. And that's how you have to go through the recursions. They'll never give you anything that involves going more than two or three function calls in. Okay? Otherwise, you are going to run out of paper. Any questions about that? They are straightforward. That was actually quite a few marks as well, six marks. The, it's not hard to work it out. It's not hard to work it out. You're getting the marks for showing that you can follow it through this way. That's why they say showing, running of it. Okay.